we're outside and uh, got the smoker here. This is a New Brunswick smoker. You don't have to have a real expensive one, but these are real solid choices. Um, I've always used them and they work great for me. They're not the most expensive out there, but uh, they work great. So, uh, you know, made in Texas and, um, you know, uh, you need to have something with a separate firebox in order to, uh, to smoke the brisket. Uh, properly, preferably. You know, you can do it on a single unit, but you got to be real careful about that fire. Maybe put some water in there to, uh, to kind of uh, help it get a nice even cooking. So we're going to go ahead and get our fire started. And what I like to use is these big logs. Uh, I get these from, uh, from Academy. But, um, you know, I'm going to start with some, uh, some pecan. And uh, I don't like to use lighter fluid. Um, you know, chemicals or whatever. I use a little bit of this uh, this wood resin. It's like a little fire starter, but it's non-toxic. It's safe. It's basically just wax with some uh, some hardwood in there, and you just need a little piece of it to get things going. And uh, we're just gonna get some smaller pieces of pecan out of here. Okay, so we've got some pecan wood, and um, you know, I'm not gonna use any starter. We are gonna switch over to oak, but I like to start the process with pecan. I feel like pecan's a, got a little bit uh, more flavor to it, a little bit more of a nuttiness, and also it's going to burn a little bit hotter than the oak, but I really love the oak once we get the cooking process going and we get a nice sear on that brisket, because it's just real consistent, nice slow burner, and real mild. So once we get that initial smoke on there, we're going to start to finish it with oak. Okay, we're just going to stack our wood in there, and uh, get this piece of resin burning. So this is just like, uh, you know, Boy Scouts type campfire, you know, you're just going to start with some smaller kindling to get it going, but all this wood is nice and dry, so it shouldn't take too long. And uh, I like to just use the, uh, the classic sort of crisscross method, you know. And you see we got a pretty good amount of wood in here, but that's okay because we want to start with a nice... A uh, big fire that's going to really start to take off and uh, sear that brisket and get a good base of uh, good base of coals. So, So you see I got a I got a ton of stuff in here, you know, everything's big in Texas, start with a nice big fire, leave the top open, leave the side open, we're just going to let this burn down quite a bit for, you know, about 30 minutes or so, and, uh, you know, by leaving this open you're going to get more oxygen in there, and that's going to uh, get the fire really going, and then later, you know, obviously we're going to shut this off, and then we can control the, uh, the oxygen level or the air intake by just, uh, you know, moving this. But for right now, we're just going to leave everything wide open, get a nice raging fire, let it burn down a little bit, and then we're going to start closing things up and letting the, uh, the interior of the, uh, the smoker heat up a little bit. So we're going to put it on the smoker. We've got the, uh, the temperature. It's nice and hot in here. Everything's closed up. And uh, we're going to get some smoke on at this point. You see the, uh, the smoke's burning a little bit cleaner at this point. Uh, it's a little bit clearer. And we're going to throw this on there. And I like to start it pretty hot, you know, between uh, 350 even up to, uh, you know, 400. And just put it on there. And, uh, you know, you want the, uh, the, uh, the point side towards the fire, the thicker side towards the fire. You want the fat side up. You know, that way that fat will just drip down into the meat. And we're just going to leave it just like that. We're not going to touch it from here on out probably until we, uh, we go to wrap it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close it up. We don't want too much of our heat to escape. And um, we'll come back and, uh, you know, just start 
maintain the fire. We've been going with pecan. We're going to use pecan for this initial, uh, you know, about first hour of the searing process. And then we're going to switch to oak and just maintain it at like 250 uh, with the oak. Okay, once we get the uh, brisket in there, we need to open up the, uh, the damper just a little bit. Just want to just give it a little bit of air. You know, it's got to have a little bit of air. And otherwise, it's going to get uh, you know just too smoky, and it's going to kill the fire completely. So we're just going to let it cook like this for about an hour and sear at 350 degrees, and uh, then we're going to come back in about an hour, and uh, we're just going to maintain the fire at that point with the oak, you know, and uh, just let it cook at 250 the rest of the time.